This is the number one sugar your brain needs if you have sleep apnea. And yes, I said sugar. This sugar helps your body make serotonin, which will help with alertness and mood during the day. And it also helps with melatonin, which helps you sleep at night. So here's the paper and you know it's gotta be true if it's in all caps. And what they found is that this particular sugar, myo-inositol, rolls right off the tongue. It is actually elevated, but it's the opposite of what you think because it's being used by certain cells. So it's going to be depleted from other cells that are required to make serotonin and melatonin. So here's a list of the top sources. I did leave the actual number one source off, which is breast milk. I figure probably people don't have that on hand, uh, but nonetheless, you can see a lot of things. I wouldn't go for the wheat, uh, but things of certain nature, if you're able to tolerate sugar levels like prunes, cantaloupe, uh, liverwurst, now, ideally, you're breathing better at night so you don't deplete your brain of myonositol. So how to do that with a step-by-step -step plan? Click here to go check it out so you have the easiest way to breathe better and thus sleep better at night. Click here or go to the website over my face.